Welcome back. If you or someone you know has had to enroll in Medicare, you know it can be very complex and a tedious process. But our next guest is hoping to make sense of that whole Medicare maze. Welcome to the show, Medicare Planning Specialist Stephen J. Perlman. Hey, Welcome. Man. Hey. Great How to are see you? you. Nice to meet you. So huh. let's get right into it. What made you get into this whole Medicare planning business? The business of Medicare planning is, as uh, we said, is a very, very daunting. There are 10,000 people a day, 70,000 people a week turning 65 and becoming eligible for Medicare. Hmm. I could tell you story after story, including one that includes my own mother, where people have said, where do I go to get the information mm -hmm. that I need? Yeah, it's wow. difficult. And what is the uh, difference between Medicare Supplement and Medicare Advantage? It's very, very important distinction. When you turn 65, the government can become your health care provider, and that's what's known as Original Medicare. Okay, mm -hmm. right. It is the largest network in the country, mm -hmm. and you are no longer in a managed care system. Your doctor gets to tell you what treatment that you were supposed to have, right. and there's no pre-existing conditions. conditions there's, right. there's, you don't have to get pre-authorizations or okay. anything like that okay. to work, to work you know, with your doctors. Medicare Advantage is an all-encompassing, all-bundled-in system that puts you back in the managed care system. Mm -hmm. Right and the doctors, the hospitals, providers are all in one specific package. Okay. So from what I'm understanding, it's very important to get the right coverage, the right, to make the right choices right from the beginning. Is that correct? Absolutely. When you have your initial eligibility period, mm -hmm. right. it is the one and only time that you have your choice of all of your options without having to ask medical questions. And for people who are turning 65 who ha may have had significant medical history, mm -hmm. it's very, very important that they know what their options are, what the best plan for them is, and therefore they don't get locked out of their choices because of a pre-existing medical you know, situation. Okay, so what, what is the cost for using your services then? You know, we're very much like the way a travel agent is an expert in the travel industry. Right. People come to us and they get a completely customized, personalized presentation okay. based upon their own situation. Mm -hmm. When they go ahead and they enroll, whatever carriers we use to implement their mm -hmm. plan, those right. carriers pay us our compensation. So there is no additional cost for sitting down with a professional right. and having a, a customized presentation built for you. So how many people do that then? Is it just, they just... There's not many. A lot of people are doing this on their own, they're right. calling an 800 number, they're right. getting solicited. Right. I've had clients tell me that they've gotten as many as 45 pieces of mail in Absolutely. a single month oh my God. once they turn 64 years old. Another client told me that she once called an 800 number and from that moment on, yeah. she got a phone call during the dinner hour every single night. Oh my God. And you don't year. know who you're really calling either if it's not an authorized, you know, or professional or something like that. It's very scary when you're giving your information yeah. out. A lot of the elders Absolutely. You know, yes. give out information willingly and right. it's very scary. Huh. When I first came in the insurance business, a veteran agent came to me and said, nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you mm -hmm. care. Wow. Right. You're not going to get that unless you're sitting down face to face across the table with somebody who's listening to you. Mm. Right. Who's putting together a plan for you, who's answering mm -hmm. your questions in real time, seeing the expression in your face, seeing the glaze in your eyes, and letting you leave that room mm. comfortable and confident about the decisions that you're going to make. So at what age is the right age to start thinking about that and start looking at all your options? Most people start when they're 64 years old, and right. quite honestly, the industry lets you know that you're 64 years right. old because the mail <laughs> yeah. starts to show up, right. Right. the phone starts to ring. Some people start to look at it a little bit younger. Maybe they have an older spouse. Generally, right. one spouse is right. taking the lead on what they're doing with their Medicare planning. Mm -hmm. So at 64, you really have to start to look at your options because at 65, mm. you have a window three months before your 65th mm -hmm. birthday the month of your 65th birthday and three months after as your wow. initial eligibility period to make that decision mm. with no medical underwriting. Stephen, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having really me. Really, so really alarming topic. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, still to come, digital money may be the way of the future, but how safe is it really? Find out with Healthy Lifestyle returns in just a moment.